Hi everyone, my name's Amanda. I'm kinda new here. So what I'm gonna do today is just do a quick get ready with me um, for my everyday look. So what I'm gonna do is actually not be prepared at all, <laughs> sorry, and pull stuff out of my everyday basket, which I will go ahead and do another video on later today, but I have somewhere to be. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm applying primer, which if you're not familiar with primer, basically if you are aging or anything, it kind of fills in the stuff and, and make sure that your makeup, all, fill in all the lines and little pores slash imperfections, whatever. But it gives your um, foundation a very good, uh, it gives it a smoother place to it to adhere to. I, I am trying to, and I am using, so I, what I use for my foundation primer is the Magic Lumi from uh, L'Oreal. And I also just put on some uh, eyeshadow primer. Now what I did Uh, and my eyeshadow primer is from is the Photo Focus eyeshadow primer from Wet n Wild. And so next, what I'll do is actually get out my bronzer. And this here is my Wet n Wild color, color icon bronzer in Bikini Contest. And I am gonna get out um, a crease brush. This one is just a wet and wild crease brush and I am just going to use that in my uh, crease because you know it makes sense since that's the name I don't have my contact contacts on and obviously I can't do this with my glasses on so uh, I apologize if I'm getting a little too close for comfort but basically this is just what I'm doing putting that in my crease this will come out and be used again later. Uh, okay, next, that is done. I am going to put in some concealer under my eyes. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Dark Circle Eraser thing, well, Circle Eraser. That was in French, so yes. Uh, Dark eraser dark circles or something that I think is what it is what it says and what I do with that is I actually just apply it underneath my eyes I do know I get a little bit of dark circles especially when I have a late night and I had a late night last night uh, we went to a uh, Dancing with the Stars thing that was here, done here locally. And we had two friends that were in it. One of them won third place in the People's Choice. Um, and I am so proud of these two guys, uh, Jolene and Roxanne. You know who you are, and I'm so proud of you. So next, I'm going in with a foundation. This is the Instant Age Rewind um, treatment make eraser treatment makeup, basically. I bought this on accident. It's so, and it's a little light for me, but I'm going to use it. Now, what this does, and because it's a little light with me, for me, I will most likely go over it. Not most likely. I will be going over it with um, a bronzer. So, uh, there is a mirror right underneath the camera here, so that's what I'm looking at. Sorry. So, um... I applied it, that one you twist up and it applies. It is a liquid foundation. I like that quite a bit actually, I like liquids. Um, though I, you will see if you keep watching me use other things, but, um, oops, beep, beep. What I like about that one is that I don't have to get it all over my hands. I used a liquid last night where I use my hands to place it over my face and I accidentally got some on my dress and had to change my dress. It's not just life. Um, so I am curious 
as I'm thinking about this, and I am thinking ahead. Christmas! Yay, Christmas! Santa's coming! Yep, big nerd. I love Christmas. I love Christmas decorations. I have, I make my husband go see uh, Christmas lights. We take our dog and he's like, hey, I'm a dog going on a car ride. But my husband and I have created this uh, tradition. And uh, we go, and we usually go with our, do our daughter. Uh, and uh, it's just funny. We have lots of memories as we go. Next, I'm going to set my uh, foundation with the uh, NYC Sm Smooth Skin uh, Loose Face Powder. And that's in uh, be Naturally Beige. Yes, Naturally Beige. <laughs> I probably should have looked beforehand or maybe remembered from the several times I've been using this product. This is actually an older product that is not NYC, is, own, is no longer uh, ne available in many places. And that is because uh, they're focusing their efforts elsewhere. But as far as powders go, this is wonderful. And uh, I have been told, or I have heard, well, I know it's NYC is owned by Cody and Cody Airspun is supposed to be a fantastic replacement. So I have said everything and I probably have excess powder. So I'm just gonna go over it with a powder brush. And what this is gonna do is knock off all the stuff, all the extra. Next thing I will do is I'm gonna apply a little bit of brush, blush, with a brush. I can speak. All right. And here I am using the Tarte Blush Bazaar. I had gotten a gift card to Sephora and a couple to Ulta because my birthday was recent. And I think I'm going to use this one. It's an angelic. So uh, basically, put it on your cheeks. Ta-da! Um, with this, I actually like to start at the hairline and bring it forward. And what that does is it gives it more of a faded, you look a little more pink and red or blushy back here, but you don't have that. Do you remember back in the day or like the Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls where they had the pink right there? Yeah, that prevents that. But one more thing, I've got to get out a brush for this, but because I put that uh, bronzer in my crease, I'm going to use that blush on my lid. That is all about my multitasking. And this is kind of my day daily look simply because I am a t-shirt and jeans kind of gal. I don't know if you could tell. I'm wearing a, this is Spinal Tap shirt that I got, that uh, my cousin and I made many years ago. But I'm gonna put a, t a sweatshirt on over it because Iowa is not exactly the warmest place. And I am air drying my hair. So I have blush, blush, bronzer, and more bronzer. I'm gonna show you what I do with this, and I do believe this is the brush I used last night for bronzer. So I'm gonna use it again. And this is also another Wet n Wild brush. But what is your guys' favorite family tradition that you do for the holidays? Um, and what is your favorite Christmas movie? Ironically, Mine doesn't appear to be Christmassy at all. And so what I'm doing with this is uh, just applying it. I have a five head. I have a giant forehead, and I know that. So what I'm trying to do is create a little bit of a shadow so it looks a little smaller. And then I will take it and bronze. Uh, use it to do a light contour, which just makes my face look a little more chiseled. But, um, okay, back to... Sorry, this is a little ADD because I'm a little bit in a hurry. But um, what is your favorite holiday tradition? And 
your favorite Christmas movie. My favorite Christmas movie is Die Hard. First of all, with Die Hard, it's an action movie. And Bruce Willis is kind of freaking amazing. But it's quotable. And uh, that is one I had never thought of. I'm going to see if there's any blush left on here. Just add it. And uh, my brother had mentioned how that is his favorite Christmas movie. And I'm like, yeah. Cause, and the reason why I absolutely agree with him on this is he and I watched that. It, there's good memories associated with the movie itself. Um, one summer, it was on when we were kids. It was on, I think it was TBS, every single day. And so my brother and I seriously watched it every single day. Um, now I'm going to do my brows upside down. This is the Ulta Brow Tint in uh, Deep because, you know, dark hair and all. Uh, what this is going to help me do? Cover up the gray eyebrows, man. Um, they're coming in quick. And But, okay, so when we were kids, we watched Die Hard all the time. It was on like every day that summer and so <sighs> happy memories. And so one time we uh several years ago our families went to Disney World together in Orlando and uh it was on. We stayed up till like three in the morning. Our kids were like, Okay, we're going to bed. But my brother and I stood up all night long watching Die Hard because come on it's great fun it's a great show um I'm going to go ahead and put on this is almost the finished look look I'm gonna go in and put in the voluminous eye primer eyeshadow eyelash primer for my men uh, yeah eyelashes that's what that is so I'm gonna put that in and Apparently talking while putting on mascara type products is near impossible. Because I'm too busy making the, uh, the mascara face. You know the face. Our, all of our faces are... I'll show it to you here in a moment. <laughs> From the side. You know. Okay, what I'm using right now is Lash Paradise from L'Oreal in the voluminous line. You know, the better than sex dupe. But if you don't know that it's a better than sex dupe, there is a mascara by a company called Better Than... And I forgot the name of the company. Is it Too Faced? It sounds like Too Faced or a benefit product. But, um, so... And it's like 24 bucks. It's not cheap. But this here is more affordable and get, does amazing. This here is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Everybody seems to love it on YouTube. And yes, YouTube made me buy it. Pretty much all of my cosmetics... YouTube made me buy. So, <laughs> eh, oh well. What we have learned this year is I am a sucker sucker for marketing. Anyway, um, my hair is dry, so, or air drying. So I go through and just let it hair, air dry. And I'm just gonna put on a colored chapstick that's in my purse and not up here. And, uh, but this, is my everyday look. So, hopefully that was easy for you guys and uh, you're inspired to do something simple for yours. But uh, this is it. And uh, I think on my next video, I'm gonna kinda go about how to pick your uh, favorite can foundation, which I have a complete cheat for that. So. Uh, Check me out next time. Anyway, so 
some questions for this this video. Favorite uh, Christmas tradition and favorite Christmas movie. Go ahead, leave it in the comments below. Um, also, if you guys have any suggestions, tell me. Comments, constructive criticisms, don't be a dick. <laughs> and, um, or anything, feel free to leave those below. Also, like the video if you like what you see here. Subscribe. Hit the little bell icon. Mom, have you done that yet? All right, we'll talk to you later. And nice to meet you all. My name's Amanda, and I'm kind of new here. Bye-bye.